a look at question 3b from the National 5 2015 physics paper. It's right here at the very bottom of the screen. It says on the graph on the previous page, draw a line to show the reflected pulse from position z. So let's have a look at the graph on the previous page. It's this graph and that graph relates to this diagram up here. And we're trying to um, annotate the graph. It says to draw a line to represent the reflected pulse from position Z. So let's have a recap on this again. Remember what we discovered earlier, um, if we looked at the previous videos, was that um, position X, the signal took a long time to get through because it had to travel farther. And it's also weaker because it was, some of that signal has been absorbed. And so position X um, was this one down here, the 15 microsecond one, and position Y, would have been this one over here. So let's just annotate those. Um, this is y and this is x. And so if we then have a look at um, position z, well position z in terms of distance through the material is somewhere in between x and y. So it's going to take a time somewhere in between the time um, from x and y. Also, it's because it's in between those two distances, the amount of ultrasound that will have been absorbed is somewhere in between um, what was absorbed for position Y and what was absorbed for position X. And so therefore the intensity of the reflected pulse is going to be somewhere in between 40 and 25. So our line, if we now add it, um, will be something like this. And I'm just going to put it bang in the middle there. Uh, like that and that would be um, our value for z. Now of course in terms of marking this we don't know exactly where that is. It could be anywhere between the 5 and the 15 and amplitude wise it could be anywhere above 25 and below 40 and if you do that correctly you'll get the marks.